Um, first of all, um, thanks everybody for coming. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit how this has evolved over the years running this. Uh, I am a man-to-man -man defense coach to, to the bone. I love running man-to-man. -man. And uh, I've always told my players that I think playing his own defense is cheating. I don't like doing it. I would rather play a full court man, but sometimes your personnel and the players that you have out or situations dictate what you have to run as far as the defense. In the last couple of years, um, our, we haven't been as deep on the bench as we've been in years past, so we haven't been able to run a full court man or the pressure man defense that we like to run. So we've kind of gone back to a, running a zone, uh, but we run our zone defense with a lot of man principles in them. Um, and we'll go through and talk about that. Um, when we set up, give me two guys up on top, just a regular zone, two, three zone defense. And we have, you guys run the offense on the outside to begin with. So give me a guy on top, give me two wings. Typical zone defense that you see in what's taught at lower levels is everybody gets to their spot and uh, uh, right away everybody gets their spots and we put, they get their hands up. And what we don't want to do is just stand with our hands up in the spot. We always have somebody on the basketball. Our principle, if there's somebody with the basketball, we play them man to man. So to start out this, we will have somebody up on top right away picking up the ball up on top. And now what we tell the players is that we cheat and we open up to the player that's closest to us. So if there's a player on the wing here, this is our responsibility. And what we'll do on the back side then is this person is going to cheat up a little bit here. We're not going to deny the pass to the wing, but we're going to be in a position where it's a step and a closeout. So I don't want my, I don't want my girl standing on the block, hands in the air, just waiting for the pass th to be made. So we're going to be up here, flat to the ball. Now the other thing we teach them is we don't just stand and stare at the basketball. And you'll see a lot of teams where they run their zone defense. Hands are up. All five eyes are on the, all five sets of eyes are on the basketball. And the last, that's the last thing that I teach my players that I want them to do. We always flatten out to the ball. And we always see cutters coming. So that we're always prepared, because what happens in a zone defense when you, they try to break the zone? We, everybody flashes somebody to the high post, or every, somebody flashes somebody to the low post. So we're always open up to the basketball like this. Coach Clausen, could you stand up, come out here, and be the bottom person here? Now, if we have a post here, we're still, we're still up here. Now. We're just going to cheat down a little bit to wherever the post is and generally they'll have somebody on the block here or out here. Now we're matched up. We, everybody has a responsibility. Everybody's a step and a close out to a pass. Now if they set up with a high post, Coach Glasson come up here, if they set up with a high post, we're still doing the same thing. Now all we're going to do is we're going to tell our middle girl to come up and we're going to defend here and then we just adjust down here. If the, if, oh, okay, we, they're my basketball players, I can't have them come out. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so we're up here, and if they happen to bring this person across down here, then we just tell our bottom person to flow with them. So now it looks like a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Okay, so that's just kind of the principle of matching up on the initial pass. Okay, if you go back to the regular 2-3 look, Coach Klaus and Key come down below. The one thing that we do that uh, makes this a little bit different, um, say we have a pass to the wing here. Okay, on this pass, we're defending here. Okay, we cover up the elbow here, we're still on the back side. But what we'll do, if they run somebody to the short corner or out, pass goes down, we rotate our big girl out. And this person's responsibility then is just to dive back down to the block. Ball comes back up. Here's a rotation. Slide over at the ball. I'm going to show that again because it's a little bit, it's a thing that, that makes this defense work so that we cover everything up. So if there's a pass to the wing and this bottom, girl has to, bottom guy has to fly up. If they fly anybody up, my post, my center girl, flies to the ball. 
And then on flight of ball, we teach that they have to dive to the block. Now on that dive to the block, come across over here, my backside has to get all the way underneath to protect this dive. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have, Darius, can you come here? You're going to have somebody at the elbow when the pass comes there, they're taught to dive down. Everybody runs this. Pass goes out, short corner, this person dives out. So in flight of ball, we have to, let's go back and show that again. Uh, on flight of ball, no, stay here, stay here, stay here. On flight of ball, pass goes there, we step up, we cover up here, pass goes there, fly out, dive down, and we're across until this person gets back down, we cover up, now we recover across. That's the biggest thing when we run our defense that gives other teams problems. And if we run it right, nobody's ever open or uncovered when we run this. All right, let's put the ball back up on top. So if he doesn't cut from here... You're still, you're still dive, we're still diving down because if he doesn't cut... Okay, good question. Coach Claussen, ball out there. Darius. Darius, come back here. All right, ball's on the wing there. Ball went down. We dove. He stays right here responsibility okay I'm going to talk about the responsibility of a couple guys up on top these two people up on top are on a string if this if the ball's on the wing and this person's out on the ball we're covering up the elbow if he sinks back in to cover this up he drops back they're just on a string with each other covering up the high post Okay, any questions? I right, put the ball back up on top. Now the key, you can go out to the wing too. Uh, now the key to running this defense is that your team has to communicate. They have to talk. When we are playing good defense and we're holding teams to bad shots, it's because we're communicating on defense. We're calling out cutters. I tell my players that I, if the, what I want to hear from them is nothing but chatter and talk the entire time. And what that does is, number one, we're, we're never surprised on anybody flashing anywhere. And number two, it drives the other team nuts. As an opposing, as a coach, when I have a team that's, uh, that I'm playing against that's talking all the time on defense, I can see my players get agitated. They just, they, they just get frustrated. And it's, it's frustrating when you hear the defense yelling, talking, ball, 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 cutter high, cutter low, I got ball, you go, I go, whatever it is, as long as they're communicating and talking. That and not staring at the basketball. Five sets of eyes don't need to be on the basketball for it to be successful.